Hey everyone, Colin here at eTrailer, and today we have a 2019 Chevrolet Equinox. We're going to be doing a test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. Now this roof rack system mounts to the naked roof of your Equinox, so that means you don't have any raised side rails or a factory roof rack installed. This is going to be a padded and clamped system, so we are going to be able to get our favorite roof rack accessories loaded up, whether we got a bike rack, kayak carrier, maybe even a rooftop cargo box. Now up top we have our 53 inch long wing bar Evo crossbars. You see they're in black right now, but they're also available in silver. So if you think that'll go better with your Equinox, just check out our website. Now our wing bar is gonna have a nice aerodynamic shape. It's gonna help cut down on wind noise and drag, especially when compared to your standard square or round bar roof rack systems. And what's nice about these crossbars is that we have a T-slot and all we have to do to access it is flip open the cap just like that. And what's nice is that we no longer have to pull out the rubber strip and cut it to length for our T-slot accessory. We just slide it in between the two strips all the way to the preferred location on our roof rack, tighten it down, and we're ready to go. No cutting involved, so you don't have to worry about misplacing or mismeasuring and making a wrong cut. Now right here we have our Evo clamp feet, which is kind of the middleman in the process is connecting our Evo wing bars to our padding clamp kit down here. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. We just pop open the end cap. Our tightening bolt's gonna be inside right there. We just take our included tightening tool to secure it all. When we put the end cap back on, you can see that there's a plastic lock right here. We can actually replace these with the same, with the one key system from Thule. That'll just provide more security for your roof rack. You can get four different lock cylinders for each, all four of your Evo clamp feet. Now down here we have our fit kit. This is specifically designed for your 19 Equinox. We got a nice thick rubber pad. You can see how it lines the contours of our roof. So it's gonna make for a very snug fit and the rubber is not gonna damage your roof at all. And down here we have the rubber coated hook. You can kind of see how it's sitting underneath the door frame right here, making really solid contact. We have this on both sides. So overall, very solid roof rack. It's got a very good hold of your roof. Now I'm gonna provide you guys with a few measurements. First, from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar, it's gonna be three and a half inches. You just wanna keep that in mind so that when you're putting on any clamp-on accessories, that when you're getting that strap or clamp underneath the crossbar, you don't go too low and scratch up your roof. That should be plenty of space, however, to get that done. Now from the top of our roof to the top of our wing bar, it's gonna be four and a half inches. We keep that in mind for any low clearance situations that you have this height added onto your roof. Well, though with the Equinox, you're probably not gonna have to worry about that too much. Just keep it in mind. We also have a 220 pound weight capacity for our wing bar setup. It's a little bit of a step up compared to their old system, which was the Aeroblade bars. So you're gonna be able to get a lot of different uh, cargo up here, whether it's that box, you wanna fill it up to capacity for your vacation, or maybe it's just a couple of kayaks. Well, now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get this installed on your Equinox. Now we'll go ahead and show you how to get your second crossbar assembled. The first one's gonna assemble the exact same way. Just make sure you kind of follow along with the instructions and make sure you put the right pad and clamps with the right legs. So we'll just flip our crossbar over. We're gonna come take the end cap off. We'll just push down on that tab, pull the cap off. Now right here is our scale. We need to set it to 38 and a half. That is gonna be the mark you need to set your Evo naked roof feet. So we're just right there, the numbers are engraved. You may not be able to see it too well on camera. But once you get some light shining on them, you'll be able to see it in person. Now we're gonna grab our Evo clamp foot. You're first gonna take our rubber pad and put it on this bracket. You can kind of see how the shape of it matches the shape of our pad. There's a number on the pad on the bottom corner right here. Just make sure you look at the instructions and make sure that you get the correct number on the correct placement of your roof. So the one we're assembling right now is going to be on the back right side. So there's a picture on your instructions that tells you this goes in the back right. So just make sure you really push, get that thing on the bracket. Now we'll grab our rubber coated hook. And again, it's got number engraved at the top right there. You may not be able to see it on camera, but in person you should be able to see it. To make sure you get the numbers matched up, we're just going to put it inside this bracket and push so you hear that click. Now over here, we're gonna push down on those two silver buttons. It's going to unlock the track up here. You can see when I push down on it, it kind of comes up. So what we'll do is feed this part into the channel on the bottom of our Evo wing bar. So we'll push and then feed it into the channel. 
We're gonna keep going until the edge right here butts up against our scale. Be careful not to move your scale at all. Once it makes contact, let go. That's gonna lock it in place. Now just take the end cap to your bar, put it on there. Now we're ready to get it on our roof. Now with both rear doors open, we're just gonna raise our crossbars over top of our car. Just set it on the roof for now. Now how we got the front crossbar in place is we assembled it per the instructions. And again, we made sure to get the rubber coated feet and the rubber padding right here to, uh, to the correct placement on our roof. And what we did when we got it up here was measured from the front of our Evo clamp foot all the way down here to the edge of our windshield, 11 and three quarters of an inch on both sides. And then we tightened it down. So now what we're gonna do is measure our crossbar spread. This is specified in the instructions. It's gonna be 27 and three quarters of an inch. So we'll measure from the front of our front wing bar to the front right here. Make sure you just adjust it and get it as close as possible to that 27 and three quarter. Now when tightening down this roof rack, you do want to be very careful and make sure you're alternating a lot to make sure you don't get too much pull on one side. So what we're going to do, you can see our rubber coated hook. It's kind of loose right here. It's not making contact with the frame of our vehicle. So we're just going to tighten up our foot until that hook is making contact with the frame right here and got a little bit of tension on it. So now it's made contact, we have gave it a little bit of tension. We're gonna go do the same thing on the other side. Now we've gone back and forth a couple times. We're getting to the point where we can just tighten down this side until our tool tells us it's tight enough. Once you hear those clicks from your tool, you know it's tight enough. So just make sure you get both sides fully torqued. Now we're gonna just get both of our end caps on. And from there, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and grab a hold of both of your crossbars we're just gonna give it a good shake. Make sure that everything is secure. From there, you're ready to load up your favorite rooftop accessories and then hit the road. Well, thank you all for watching and I hope this information helped you out. But that's gonna do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo Roof Rack System for Naked Roofs on our 2019 Chevrolet Equinox.